everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here i'm super happy to see you here and i really hope that you will stick around so during today's video i will be sharing with you yet another granny square pattern and this time it's going to be this super cute and beautiful daisy granny square that i'm going to teach you how you can do and as always i have made sure that this video and tutorial is as beginner friendly as possible so i'm really going into depth with uh, every single stitch that i'm doing to make sure that everyone is going to be able to recreate this and that by the end of the day everyone is going to have a perfect daisy granny square but now without further ado let's jump into it so here are all the materials that we are going to use here i have three different colors of cotton yarn which is four ply and here i have my crochet hook for this project i'm using 3.5 millimeter and of course we will also need scissors and here is our square how it's going to look at the end so this is basically what I will teach you to do in this video, but now let's get into it. So we will be starting with this dark yellow orangey color and our first step basically is to do a magic ring. So if you're not familiar with magic ring, it's super easy to do and it's one of my favorite methods for starting uh, granny squares basically. So to create a magic ring, you have to grab yarn like this and then tie it around your fingers to establish an X shape here. And then just grab your crochet hook, go underneath the first piece of yarn, and then kind of turn your hook on the other side so you're able to grab the other piece of yarn and pull it through. And in this way, you are going to establish a loop on your hook. So we can now proceed further with the next step, which in this case is going to be chaining three. So one, two, and three. Basically just pulling the yarn through the loop that you already have. And as of now, we have established a nice ring. And we also have our chain of three, which is actually going to count as our first stitch. And as you can see here, we also have this uh, loose piece of yarn. And as of now, we are going to do all of our stitches inside the circle. And it's very important to keep in mind that all of the stitches have to go around uh, both pieces of yarn that we have here. So in case if you are running out of room, uh, just feel free to pull it and you will have more uh, material for this loose piece of yarn. But now we can just proceed further and our next step is to basically do 11 double crochets into the magic ring and as I mentioned chain of three that we have here is going to count as uh, the 12th or the first one for this instance. So to do a double crochet you have to yarn over then go through the magic ring and then grab a piece of yarn pull it through the ring to establish three loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through two. You have two loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through the remaining two. And that's basically our double crochet. So now you just have to do 10 more. So we have 11 double crochets in total, as well as our chain of three in the very beginning. So yarning over, going through the ring, pulling some yarn to have three loops, yarning over and pulling through two, yarning over and pulling through two. So just repeat this step until you have 11 double crochets plus chain of three that we have. So just like this, three loops, pulling through two and pulling through two. And I will meet you back again once I have all of the stitches done. So here I have done all 11 double crochets, plus we have the chain of three uh, in the very beginning, which means that we have 12 stitches in total. And now our next step is to close the magic ring. So to do that, you basically have to grab this loose piece of yarn here and then just pull it and it will slowly close the ring as you pull. And once it's closed, it will establish a nice and smooth shape. So now we can actually connect this round by doing a slip stitch to, to make it even and closed. So to do that, we will be going through the third chain that we did in the very beginning. So going through there, grabbing some yarn and pulling it through to have two loops and then pulling the last loop through the existing one that we had in the very beginning, like this. 
and now we have connected it and now we just have to chain one pull the yarn or loop a little bit longer then just grabbing our scissors and we can cut it off and we have finished the first round and we just have to tighten it by pulling the piece of yarn there and it will make a secure knot like that and now you can just count the stitches to make sure that you have 12 in total and we can proceed further with the next round so for the second round i will be using white color and we will first start by attaching the yarn to the first round that we just made and i will basically just go through a random stitch uh, from previous round and i will just pull the yarn through and then i will basically just tie a knot to make sure that it's secure and it is holding there without untying or anything like that and now we can basically proceed with the next round so our first step is to just go through the chain that we have pull up some yarn and pull it through to have a loop on our hook and then i'm just going to chain four so one two three and four like this and now we can proceed further and throughout this round we will basically be making uh, daisy leaves so for this round we will be doing um, clusters of treble crochet and for the first round since we already have this chain of four it's going to count as our uh, first uh, stitch or part of the stitch so uh, for this round we will be working all of our stitches inside uh, this place and we will be doing uh, two unfinished treble crochets together so to start doing that you have to yarn over twice like this then go through the chain there uh, grab some yarn and pull it through and you should have four uh, loops on your hook then yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two to have two loops on our hook and then we can proceed further with uh, another one creating exactly the same as we just did so yarning over twice going through the stitch and pulling up some yarn and then yarning over and pulling through two yarning over and pulling through two and now we basically have created two unfinished uh, treble crochets as well as we have the chain of four that we had created in the very beginning so now we just have to finish it by yarning over and pulling through all of the loops that we have like this and now we have completed our first cluster so now we just have to chain two so one and two and now we can move forward with the following stitch so since we don't have this chain of four that we had before uh, we will have to do three unfinished uh, treble crochets uh, in this space that we have and it will also apply for all the following stitches so just repeating kind of the same as we did yarning over twice and going through the stitch and pulling up some yarn to have four loops then yarning over and pulling through two yarning over and pulling through two like this so that counts as one unfinished and then doing another one so yarning over twice then going through the stitch and pulling up some yarn like this yarning over and pulling through two yarning over and pulling through two so now we have two and just one more so these are all the loops that we have yarning over and pulling through two yarning over and pulling through two so before finishing this you should have four loops on our hook and now we will be yarning over and pulling through all of them like that so that counts as uh, another treble crochet where we have three treble crochets together so after this we are chaining two again and then we can proceed further with the next one so i will just quickly do this one also together with you so we are just repeating the same thing as we did here so yarning over twice pulling through two pulling through two that's our one unfinished and then doing another one like this and one more So those are our three unfinished treble crochets yarning over 
and finishing up the stitch like this. So we have now created three daisy leaves and we just have to repeat the same process all around until we have created 12 of them in total or until we have gone through every single stitch that we have, which in total is basically 12. And before starting with each of them, we just have to chain two and then we can proceed further with the actual uh, stitch. So here I'm just starting to work on another one and I will basically just meet you back again once we have all 12 of them done. And another note, just uh, notice how I'm also hiding this loose piece of yarn here. So underneath uh, every stitch that I do, I just make sure that I kind of weave it in inside so I don't have to do it at the very end altogether. So it kind of helps to reduce some of the steps that I might have to do later on. So whenever I'm doing a stitch, I just make sure that I hide it in there by doing all the stitches around it. So here I have the last stitch left to do and I will just do it together with you. So chaining two before doing that and then again doing three unfinished uh, treble crochets and into the same space basically. Here I have already the second one. So just adding one more like that and then yarning over and going through all loops like this and as last step i'm chaining two again and now we just have to connect the round and i will be doing it by going through the this cluster stitch that we made in the beginning and i will basically do a slip stitch there so just going through this uh, stitch grabbing up some yarn pulling through and then pulling through uh, the loop that we already had on our hook like that and we have connected the round so now we just have to finish it by chaining one like this and then pulling the loop uh, looser or longer and we can again cut it off with our scissors and now we just have to tighten it by pulling the, the loose piece of yarn that we have like that and now we have finished uh, the second round that we we had to do so and it looks like this so now we can move on with the third round and for the third round we will be using this blue color and also this round will basically help us to create a square shape but first we again have to attach the yarn and as before i will also be doing it in a random space so wherever you wish you can just go through uh, the space that we have here in between the clusters and uh, just pull the yarn through and attach it by making a secure knot so just tighten it uh, to make sure that it's secure and it's not going to untie throughout the process like this and now we can start uh, with the third round and basically i will be starting by creating a corner and uh, to do so first pull the yarn through to have a loop on your hook and then just chain four so one two three and four and uh, just as before this is again going to count as our first stitch uh, so for everything that we will be doing in this step we kind of have to reduce one but throughout this step or for this corner we will basically be adding two treble crochets so this time they will be finished ones so just keep in mind that you have to actually finish the stitch so yarn over twice and go through the space here to pull up some yarn to have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and the last one yarn over and pull through two so now you have created one treble crochet and we just have to add another one so again yarn over twice and go through this uh, gap here and pull up some yarn to have four loops yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two like this so this basically counts as three stitches and it would be half of the corner so now we just have to chain three one two and three this will help us to make a square shape and we have to add 
uh, another three treble crochet into the same space. So again, yarning over twice and doing three treble crochet stitches into the same space. So that counts as one. Adding another one. So here we have two. And once again, yarning over twice and going through the same space. So here we have added another three stitches into the same space, as well as we have established a corner shape in there. So now we can proceed further uh, with the next space. And into the next one, we will be doing three double crochets. So yarning over once and going through the space and pulling up some yarn to have three loops, then yarning over and pulling through two, yarning over and pulling through two. So that's one, and we have to add two more into here. Two and one more. Like this. And then we can move forward with the next space. And in the next space, we are also doing the same as before. So three double crochets into the same space in there. Like this. And once we have done that, we have basically reached the next corner. And in the following corner, we are doing the same thing as we did there. So we are starting with three treble crochets and yarning over twice. And then just going through this gap to complete all three stitches. So that's one and adding two more. Like this, here we have three treble crochets. And again, we can chain three after that like so. And once that's done, again doing three more treble crochets into the same space. Here we have our second corner. And from now on, process is pretty much the same. So now we just have to repeat what we did here into here. So in the next following two gaps, we are doing three double crochets together in the same space. So three in each. So here is the first one, and then doing the same thing also in the next one. One, two and three like this so again in the following space we are again repeating the corner so i guess from now on you know what to do so here we will be doing uh, three treble crochets chain of three and three treble crochets in the following two we have three double crochets in each then we have corner again and then the last two are for the three double crochets uh, three in each again, and I will meet you back again once we have to connect this round. So see you then. So here I'm about to finish this uh, third round. And as you can see, we have one gap left here to finish. And as I mentioned, it's again going to be three double crochets together in the same space. So that is one two and three like that so now we just have to connect this round and to do so we will be doing the same thing as before basically using slip stitch to connect it and i will be going through this uh, fourth chain that we did in the very beginning so just going through uh, this chain and pulling up some yarn and then pulling it through the loop that we already had on our hook like this and then just chaining one and pulling the loop longer and we can again cut it off like this and then we can tighten it so with the third round we have actually finished uh, our daisy granny square 
and uh, basically if you want to create it a little bit bigger you're more than welcome to add additional rounds by doing double crochet all around and doing the same process in the corners where you are doing three double crochets chain of three and three double crochets again and you can either do them on top of every single stitch or do three of them in the gaps between every th third stitch so it's up to you but at the moment if we measure our square it is around seven and a half centimeters so it's up to you if you want to stick with this size or if you want to add extra rounds but other than that it's really fun to create multiple squares so you can connect them by using slip stitch and uh, to create some amazing projects such as cardigans, scarves, tops, whatever you wish. But other than that, I really hope that you will have fun with these squares by using this type of pattern. So that is basically it for me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that this tutorial is going to be useful for your future crochet creations and that they will turn out to be super amazing. However, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to help you from there and if you did enjoy please give me a big thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe and I will see you later bye